ways to get in here. That road, this road, we'll go on this road. A little bit of a hike, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. can get in here at. There's a, an abandoned car thing over there. We'll check that out on the way out. Let's see where we can get in here. If we can get in on this side, we have to go around the other side. Hey everyone, Mike from Good Day for Decay. So I'm here with Kay and Rhonda. Hi. As you can see in the background, we have an old abandoned building. So we're gonna go check this out. This is called Edward Slaughterhouse. If you didn't know where this was, you're not gonna find it. It's literally in the middle of nowhere and in the woods. You can't see it. Sometimes you could see it in, if you're passing by in the winter time, you might be able to see the structure, but other than that, it's deep in the woods and it's, it's yeah, it's really hidden in back here. So, I mean, it's probably closed about the 1990s, some air, air in that area, but uh, let's get on in there and start our explore. Oh, there you go, there's a door. Over here. That's uh, for tractor trailers. You can, there's a door right here. This is a wagon. Wagon, no. With a gasket. No. Don't touch it. Here. Okay, back up. I don't see if there's a way in there. Oh, oh yeah. Someone's got a little wagon with a gas can. Weird. Okay, so this is where the tractor trailers would back in with the cattle. The cows would be all through here. They would make up their ramp up to the next spot up there. Just watch your, just watch your step because there is a lot of holes in the floors. Looks like a kid's still a party back in here. I know many people that told me about they used to come here paintballing. And you'll see all the splatters on the uh, the walls. What's up? I see the uh, teardrop on the top.
Yeah, because it's actually metal. <laughs> you can see the teardrop on the uh, top of the can. Oh. Root beer. They don't make root beer anymore, do they? cattle would come up this way like I said this is really <laughs> really in the middle of nowhere it would be another area for uh, the trucks so the cattle would come in and they would Hit the thing, close the door, stop them from coming in. Yeah, don't trust that. That doesn't seem too safe there. And unfortunately the cattle would stick their head through here. And you have the airline here. And we all know what happens next. What was that movie? No Country for Old Men? Did you ever see that movie? Nope. I believe he, uh, he has something like that. It's uh, like an air nailer right in the skull. Just be careful, there's holes everywhere. So, let's see, here's one of the bats. I know one of the ports, I don't know, I was here years ago. This one says, that one says water. That one says blood. So different drains for the animals. <clears throat> Now this place closed, I want to say back in the 1990s. I was here maybe four years ago-ish, five maybe. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe if you guys know what kind of machine this was for, leave a comment down below. But that shoots right down into the basement. You can see all the conveyor lines up the top, everywhere. So my guess is after they slaughtered, they hung and they went alongside the tracks. But you, if you didn't know where this was, you're not gonna find it. It's literally not on radar. It's literally in the middle of the woods. Now these are the, these are the auger pits. The augers are still in the, in the floor. I mean, you're talking the augers are probably about two foot-ish. A foot and a half. Maybe the guts and stuff or bone or whatever. And um, it goes right into the basement. All the, all the debris and everything goes right into the basement. Oh, so this would crush it up. And, and shoot it down. This might have been another bath over here as well. Another opening. You definitely have to mind your footing because there is holes everywhere and open 
open ports in the floors everywhere you look. And there's another one, like all these ports go into the basement. There's another auger. Minus, oh, I was say minus the auger, but the small one is all the way down there. So that's a lot smaller one. Get to the auger in there. This back part's falling off. It collapsed. like the rubber roofing and you got some outside outside coolers here now the stone is turning and twisting Like the ceiling's falling over there. Styrofoam. That's where we just came in at. Check out this area over here before we go upstairs. I think this is just the big room. This might have been a packaging maybe. Yeah, all the uh, conveyors are on the ceiling. See the old lights up top. Oh, this is over here. Like I said, it's been a couple, been a couple of years since I've been here. So, oh, this must have been a, a cooler or refrigerator because there's all foam on the uh, the side there. Looks like there was a back entrance here too. I see the uh, um, the foam for the, when the tractor trailers back up. I mean, I'm gonna say probably the 90s because this thing is so overgrown. This goes upstairs. Let's go, we'll go up the other way. Sorry. A little bright. Nice breeze in here, though. Yeah, make my way upstairs. And some nice, not so nice words. But there is a basement. We'll hit that next after we come downstairs. What's this room? That is just a nothing room. There's nothing in there. And 
there's a roof of some somewhere. And still a nothing room. There's little rooms here. You get some of the conveyors. Looks like roof access. Yeah, that's the roof right there, which I will not be walking on. What's up? Steps over there too. Keep going up. Dead bird. Huh? Dead dead bird. Yeah. And another dead bird. I'm guessing this would have been the bathrooms or shower rooms if you want to call it that. Looks like there is some yeah, shower units here. I believe that these were more intact when I was here a few years ago because all the studying is knocked down. And there was lockers. That's what's left of them it looks like. It's a speaker system, maybe, or I'm not sure. And this room has nothing. A lot of little rooms on these pl on this place. See all the conveyors running up here. Some pretty big I beams. And I said you could see all the holes there, there. They're all over. There was one here. or something in there. I gotta watch your step. You stop.
there wasn't a little shower over there? Like a bathroom? That might have been. When we came through back back there, they had shower units, the three of them that were there. Yeah. The first room. I'm assuming that's what it is because it's all tiles. And this goes out into the roof. It's funny because you look outside and you think it's the ground with all the trees and the, everything growing, but it's actually the roof. Right in, the, right in the face. <laughs> Do I like you? No, the water dripped. <laughs> so it's a pretty, you're pretty far up here. And you're at the, you're pretty much on the top section there, looking down. Well, yeah, I guess this is really a small bathroom. Wow. That's like one little room. Wow, and one little shower. Wow. The head was really small in there. I'm not sure what this room, maybe this was a, like a wash up area here, maybe a sink. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely the toilet there. And then the shower unit on this one over here. Yeah, that is a tiny shower. Yeah, it is. And then this, I'm guessing, would just been probably the sink, if I'm looking at it correctly, maybe a counter with a sink and stuff yeah. here. Remember the 5th of November? These lights are only halfway too. Nice view. And it's funny when you look out. When you look out the um, over here, you see all the trees and everything. And that's not the ground, it's actually the roof with everything growing on top of it. Yeah, look over Beautiful view. Wouldn't want to be walking on that, that's for sure. Mm -mm. I mean, all it is is it looks like plywood. And it's definitely a newer spray paint too. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's all fresh. I mean, it's, it's so bright. It's not like it's been here for a while. Well, you know, when you're young, you're invincible. Yeah. Right, we'll make our way down and then go down one more. I don't know who that's supposed to be. It's like a stencil that they, uh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. It's not an elevator. It's a shaft of some sort because it goes down. Cow. Something for cow pits? Mm.
I saw him. What is that? From a soda can. Oh, the pull tab. The old pull Here. tab. That's what used to be on the soda can. That's how you open it. Yeah, that's like the real old pull tabs. <laughs> I see some, a lot of shotgun shells. Looks like they've been here some time though. Well, it just, and it stops here. I, I don't know what this would have been. I mean, it just stops there. It can go to the basement. This, no, that's just another room right there. But we're going down to the basement. Toilet, and then maybe it's a that was another bathroom. It still goes down another one. Let me see if there's anything in here. Now, an old, very old desk. No, this is the last set here. This is the this is the ground floor, and we can go out the, we can go out this way too. Okay. There is a huge, huge boiler. foot tall boiler and definitely definitely smell like kerosene smell over here I mean to get a perspective here I mean there's Rhonda and Kay you can see how big this unit is What's up? What were you trying to see? A perspective on how big this a boiler is. Um, Size comparison between you guys and how tall that is. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe if anyone knows, leave a comment. I'm not really sure. The center is all hard plastic. I'm not really sure. The center is all hard plastic. Okay, I don't know. It's all the fuse boxes and panels back there. No, that's why I even said if someone knows, leave a comment. I don't know, it's, it's got hard plastic in the center of it.
This is the back room again. Nope, another just a random room. A lot of just random rooms. This one had all shelving, maybe a, a storage room of some sort. There's an old monitor there, computer monitor. A couple of them actually. The smell of uh, mildew or up here there's just empty empty space up there I was up there last time I remember climbing up there and it's just over here there was a it's a bunch of styrofoam over there this styrofoam was probably in the ceiling I'm guessing and you could see up top where we were all of these uh, pipe piping right here. This is the augers and stuff that came down through the ceiling. <clears throat> and then I want to say over here was like where the blood bath was, the cleaning the, the blood water. And I think it would run down over over there. Still, it still went down and probably just drains because I think this is the bottom floor if I'm not mistaken. Looks like an old oil tank that was just butchered, made makeshift into something. That looks like an old coal chute that they used. What's up there? Oh yeah, you could, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see the edge of the auger. There's the auger right, let me see if I can point to it. Uh, right there. So we just come down and they probably back the trucks up. And I just noticed there's actually a there's actually a circle here outlining it. So maybe the truck the truck would back down up into the up into that area. I don't think it goes down anymore though. We're at the bottom. Hold on. Yeah, there's no other floors going down. Car seat, tires. Oh, so the drain from over here that I was just showing you drains over to here and into here. So this must drain and then go outside with this drain after it fills up and looks safe. Yeah, there's a there's a baby seat in that thing over there. That's how you know it's abandoned. What? That's how you know it's abandoned. And the trucks went back up, right up into these three doors, which probably haven't, like I said, used since the 1990s. The 
is where we first came in right here and walked up that ramp. Just a lot of random stuff here. There is a, I don't know if I can get the aerial view. Somewhere over here, there's like a couple man-made ponds, if you want to call it that. They're like square. It's the weirdest thing I, I, I've seen. But uh, if I could find it, I'll put the picture up right now. That's where we were standing up top when I said the uh, that all the trees were actually not the ground there, it was the roof. All right, that was your look at Edward's Slaughterhouse. Definitely closed, probably in, somewhere in the 90s because it shows it. I mean, it's so overgrown here and uh, it's really rough shape. If you didn't know where this is, you were not gonna find it. It's literally in the woods. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? This is Kay's first uh, explore. You? Yeah. Yeah? What'd you like? What'd you like? Did you like it? I want to see more now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wants to go more explores now. Gotcha. Please. She almost caught a frog. Almost. She was happy. Nice. Yeah, she was trying. Close. She was trying. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to head on out and... Uh, it was I kind of like how you see all the uh, the augers and all the the piping that they they made up there, yeah. all the industrial stuff in the ceilings. So we're gonna head out, like, comment, subscribe. If there was something you saw that I wasn't sure of, leave a comment. You know, I maybe I was wrong about something. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe and leave, ring that notification bell. And guess what? I'll catch you on the next adventure. See ya!